What's the crack lads? We're back. We're back with another pack review. As we do every Thursday, try to get the pack reviews out early to help you guys. Um, and definitely taking on the feedback to get the, the reviews out as quick as possible so that you guys can know whether to, to spin or not. And again, there are a lot of recommendations in this one. We're back with the International Cup December 22. So this is a Players of the Week uh, one. We've got some interesting ones. We've got Mbappe, we've got Richarlison, we've got Fernandez. obviously as a super sub, but we've also got a right wing uh, Bruno Fernandez, who's a very interesting player, as well as getting for, uh, Hernandez back. We've got Morata, we've got Alderweireld, we've got Fuller, we've got Sice. We've got a lot of good players here. Um, I mean, starting with these guys, right? Starting with these three at the bottom here, right? I don't think that you're going to want to be... Look, this guy's got blocker and interception. I featured him a couple of episodes ago in the Belgian pack. Um, I think the only thing you need to kind of like get into your head when you are playing with with, with slower uh, centre backs is that they are going to make mistakes. And especially now as well with the way that the, the kind of things have changed with V2.2. Dribbling and tight possession is a very important stat. Um, but defensively, very solid blocker interception. Nice height, nice weight. Good physical contact, very good passing, and very good heading ability. And of course, you've got that 89 defensive awareness. The 66 acceleration and speed is a little bit of a concern, but that's the, the, the trade-off that you have for these kind of very high defensive-minded uh, players. You know, that's that's all you need to, to know about it, is that like you're not going to get a player with everything going for him like it's very rare apart from the top top defenders or the top 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 strikers you're not going to hit every single stat that you need to have the ultimate version of you know the ultimate center back obviously there's exceptions like maldini and puyol and players like that that can just absolutely dominate and then you can train up players like alaba and rudiger and van dyke that can like really be dominant but i think this guy being a 69 speed is fine if you do get him i definitely think that he's worth it because you're not going to have to train him up you can just slot him in same with this guy, a very similar situation, except he's got less defensive awareness uh, because he can play as a DMF, which wouldn't be a bad position to play him in. He's got interception, but he doesn't have blocker. He's got standard form. Um, speed is a bit higher. Acceleration is a bit higher. Uh, but yeah, similar everything. Similar everything, lads. Similar, you know, tight possession uh, is a little bit better in the ball control and dribbling is a little bit better. So he's a bit more of a player. I think this guy is probably probably more uh, suited for the way that the gameplay has gone at the moment. So definitely keep a lookout for him if you do get him. He's not a bad player at all. We've also got Morata, who has been scoring bags of goals. Well, I won't say bags of goals for Spain, but he has been scoring goals for Spain. Uh, first time shot, one touch pass, track back and super sub. Yeah, very viable option as a super sub. I'm not too sure about the speeding bullet. I never thought that Morata was that quick. Um, but the one thing that lets him down there is his 83 finishing and his 83 heading. Like if that was 85, 86, you would see a big difference in it. But everything else, you're talking about a very similar player to Benzema, to Lewandowski, to any of those guys that you've got. As I've said, lads, if you are looking for an in-air threat, definitely check out Collar or check out somebody um, that is like this, that you can get him on the ball and just swing crosses into him. Definitely a good player, even though he's only on C rating this week with the live update. Uh, we've also got, who else will we look at? We've also got Fuller as a right back. Not really to shout home about with this card because he doesn't have any defensive skills apart from man marking. He does have fighting spirit as well as standard form. But yeah, I don't think that this is going to be a card that really you know like blows you away if you do get him there's a lot of better right backs on a uh on it you know in the game stamina is quite decent speed is decent acceleration is decent aggression is decent and everything else is just average across the board for a right back you know he doesn't have any crossing ability uh so that's going to be a bit of an issue but he does have long range curler so yeah not the best card but an interesting card and especially if you're a fan of him We've also got Fernandez. He's an interesting one because he's got super sub. It's very rare to get a center midfielder or a DMF with super sub and unwavering form. So it's a nice uh, blend there. He's also got a, a lot of dribbling skills and passing skills. Low lofted pass, weighted pass, true pass and one touch pass. And then first time shot, long range curler and top that off with soul control, scissors, feints and super sub, which is very interesting. He's a very unique card. I don't think that a card like this has released before where it's a CMF that has unwavering, that has all those player skills and has super sub and has nice speed 
and nice defensive stats with the aggression and defensive engagement. Obviously, if you're playing him, you're going to be using him as a box-to-box, -box, kind of like a Goretzka figure. So if you don't have Goretzka and you don't have Patrick Vieira, you don't have somebody that can be an engine in the, in the, in the main area of the pitch for you, this guy is definitely worth using. I guarantee you he will be an absolute monster on the pitch. We've also got Chesney. I watched the game last night. He made one of the best penalty saves I've ever seen. Absolutely incredible in what I didn't think was a penalty. Um, but unwavering form. He's really tall. Obviously, look, the reflexes is a little bit of a worry and the catching is a little bit of a worry if you are looking at this keeper as your end game keeper. Like, you probably will have a better keeper by now, and if you if you don't, you should have. But yeah, not a bad option either. Um, and then we've also got... Yeah, so that's it then. And then we're going to take a closer look at right wing forward Bruno Fernandes, who has got 90 stamina, 90 low pass, or 91 low pass and 90 lofted pass. And then the rest of his offensive stats are absolutely incredible as well. Ball control, offensive awareness, excellent. Uh, set piece taken and curl, excellent. Kick and power, excellent. Speed is very, very good as well uh, for a player that you're going to be playing as pre predominantly a crosser. He does have... Um, he does have pinpoint crossing, but he doesn't have early crosser. So you will, you know, you are going to have to be a good passer, but you should be with that uh, pass stats there. Low pass and lofted pass in the 90s is very, very good. And I think it boosts up this uh, card quite highly. And uh, look, I would probably be still playing Bruno in the attacking midfielder role, even though he's down as a, a right winger. He doesn't have the pace to be able to take players on for, you know, for pace <laughs> out in the wing. So I definitely would would use him as a right winger. That's just me uh, because he's got a you know unbelievable uh, variety of player skills. Track back as well. You could use that as an AMF. Uh, and he doesn't have the blister and pace that you need for your winger. But that's just me. That's just the way I would play him. We've also got Hernandez. He's been up there around with some of the best cards. Standard form, fighting spirit, gamesmanship, one-touch pass. Again, a very good player, fullback finisher. You can see that his graph there is geared towards speed and passing and defense. So he's a very, very, very good all-rounder. Uh, all-rounder? All-rounder. So if you are going to be getting him, he's definitely worth sticking in as well if you don't have a better left-back than him, such as Carlos or Davies, if you haven't trained up a left-back. Uh, or maybe you've been playing, you know, a right back and three center backs and you want to you want to switch things up with a left back. He definitely would be worth putting in. The dribbling is very good. The speed is very good. The stamina is very good. And then his defense is, is quite solid as well for a left back that is so attack based. We've also got uh, Kovacic, who I have gone to, you know, bat for Kovacic for for months telling you how good he is. He's got a wavering form. He's got ridiculous stats for ball control and passing and dribbling and tight possession. His speed is really, really solid. His balance and stamina are excellent. His aggression is excellent. I would be playing him as an AMF because you don't need to, you know, him to be that defensive. And he still will block balls for you. He's a box-to-box, -box, which is one of the best play styles in the game. And yeah, I mean, you can see the stats there. Don't need to train him up, obviously. I think his other version as well that they released, was it last week or the week before, uh, was insane as well. But this guy's also got man marking and interception. So you would have an AMF with all these incredible stats and he still has interception. So he will get on the ball a good bit. One touch pass is always key and true passing as a, as a AMF. He's an absolutely unbelievable card and very, very much slept on. And then last but not least, we have got Richarlison, who's been lighting it up in the World Cup with that acrobatic goal that he scored. Obviously, everyone remembers that. I haven't really tried Richarlison. He's probably one of the only players on this that I haven't actually sat down and played across accounts or across either on the Xbox or the PC. I haven't really played with him. Now, his, his stats look insane, lads, right? His stats do look insane. But there is such a variety of centre forwards in the game that if you are, you know, comparing him to the likes of Romario, there is no comparison. And even comparing him to Mbappe, who's next on the list, there isn't a real comparison between Mbappe um, and Richarlison, you know, because like at the end of the day, right, if you are going to be getting a player that's going to be leading the line for you, you need to have a very direct play style with that player. And I just think that Richarlison's acceleration of 83 and the offensive awareness of 83 absolutely kill this card dead because it's not high enough in my opinion compared to what else you could be playing with now speaking of high enough Mbappe one of the best cards ever released in a player of the week definitely one of the best ever released like full stop he's a whole player which is a very interesting playing style to have for him and he is down as a left midfielder but he does go to 99 overall as a center forward with these stats 
Reason for that, 90 awareness, 90 dribbling, 88 finishing, 93 speed and 90 acceleration. The only thing that really kind of takes this card away from being completely like 100% broken, even though he has unwavering form, is his balance and stamina, right? Stamina, it doesn't really matter unless you're playing match like a match with somebody with a very aggressive play style. Like, you know, for me, I need players with good stamina or else I need to rotate after 75 minutes. So bringing Mbappe on would be incredible if you have another brilliant striker up front. Um, I would definitely play him probably on the left flank, uh, being honest with you, uh, because he does have this card especially. Obviously, it's down as a left midfielder, but he goes up to 100 as a left winger. Um, and you know that you're going to have a, a really good dribbling uh, kind of like player that can move in from the left that's going to be usually on unwavering form he's also got one touch pass he's also got chip shot control and all that sort of stuff that if you do get in around the box you can have a few shots and this is where he's kind of better than Neymar that way because he's obviously able to shoot if you cut in from the left wing you're able to shoot on the right foot Neymar is you know exceptional at doing that but Mbappe you know using him on the left flank or right flank is is probably is more beneficial i think compared to using him as a center forward now if you don't have a top class center forward like Romanegi or you know torres or romario or you know whoever then definitely you won't get a better striker than mbappe he's probably the best card they've ever released for for uh the player of the weeks so that is it for me lads i'll be back quite soon with another one uh that is the international cup december 1st we're gonna have a lot of these player of the week so it'll be players that are actually lighting it up in the world cup so yeah we should be able to predict it a bit but that is it for me lads i will talk to you later Peace.